I know that there's a lot of uncertainty out there now about vaccines and quite frankly, a lot of frustration about when we might be able to have ours. And I thought it might be useful to talk a little bit about the prioritization process. A phased approach to rolling out the vaccines makes a lot of sense from a public health point of view because it really will allow us to have the greatest impact. They worked with the National Academy of Medicine to develop criteria, and those included your risk of acquiring infection, uh, particularly are you at a a workplace or perhaps you live in a congregate setting that makes it more likely that you might get the disease. Uh, your risk of severe morbidity and mortality. We know that this um, COVID-19 has resulted in older people dying more frequently than younger and some subpopulations have suffered disparities such as African Americans, Latinos, or Native Americans. Your risk of negative social impact, and so that really focuses on uh, some of our essential workers, such as our healthcare workers, um, who went first for vaccines, and that's because without them, many of us would be impacted quite negatively. And finally, your risk of transmitting the infection to others. You'll see that prison populations are prioritized, and that's because there's been studies that shown that outbreaks in prison may result in community spread, so we want to make sure that we take care of that. Another issue is equity, and uh, the committee uh, at CDC, as well as the National Committee, uh, National Academy of Medicine Committee, as well as our uh, Iowa State Committee that looked into this, uh, IDAC, all wanted to focus on equity because they realized that there were folks that were disproportionately impacted um, by either having to work uh, in conditions where they could not wear protective equipment, unlike me, who is working at home these days and not facing the risk of exposure, or they had uh, it were in, uh, disproportionately impacted with disease and, and illness um, and uh, immortality. And this is important because I want us to remember and, and to be patient as with this all rolls out that we might have opportunities to say travel to a different county where we hear that because they don't have as much population, we might be able to stand in line. But just remember, we may be taking a vaccine from somebody who has been deemed to have more need than we do. So I urge you to have patience. And I also urge you to remind you rather to wear your mask, even if you have had a vaccine, to wash your hands and to social distance. Thank you.